Hey everyone, I just finished my course on React Server Components over at buildui.com. I want to share a lesson from that course with you here. This lesson is all about transitions and transitions are one of my favorite features from React. I think it's so cool how they work with suspense and server components that fetch data. So without wasting any more time, uh, here's the lesson on transitions. In this lesson, we are gonna fix a bug that we noticed at the end of the last video. And that is if we search for Ryan, we can see that we get no feedback on the screen uh, and then the results for Ryan just suddenly pop in. So uh, today we're gonna fix that by showing an indicator that we have a search currently running. And we're gonna do that using React Transitions. So the way that React Transitions work is we are going to use the use transition hook. Uh, this is an import that comes directly from React. And this hook is gonna give us back two different things. Uh, first, it's going to give us a flag called is pending. And then it's also gonna give us a function called start transition. And then down in our event handler, we are gonna wrap all this code inside of start transition. So the way that start transition works is it takes a function and we can put in any code that we wanna to transition to inside of that function. Now, uh, just to show you that this still works, I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna search for Sam. You'll notice that we get all the results for Sam, but we didn't get any indicator. And that's where uh, this is pending Boolean comes in. So down below our input, we can put a message and we can say, if is pending, we're gonna show the text searching. And then now when we search for Alice, we get some feedback that our query is running and that feedback goes away as soon as the results for Alice come in. And this is how transitions work. They let us keep the old UI around while we're transitioning to a new state, so a new set of search results. Uh, but it's really cool. They give us back this is pending flag. And this is pending flag is gonna let us show a message like, hey, we're currently running a search uh, in the old UI while that new UI is being prepared. So this is perfect for our use case here. Let's work on styling this uh, searching UI. And I think the UI that I wanna build here is I wanna show a little loading indicator right here while a search is running. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab this block of HTML for the magnifying glass and just duplicate it down here. And then instead of displaying a magnifying glass, uh, we're gonna display our spinner from the last video. And now we wanna get that spinner over on the right side. So we'll change this to right and then we will give it a little more uh, padding on the right. Okay, and then uh, while it's displayed, let's make it spin. Cool, looks great. And uh, we will go ahead and we will wrap this whole thing in an is pending check and get rid of this message down here. And now we'll search for Bob. And there we go, we see that spinner for two seconds while the search is running. So this is really cool. Every time we type in the search box, React is gonna kick off a new transition. We're gonna get that loading spinner. And the really nice thing about this is React is only ever gonna show the latest results from our transition. So if we type a lot of text, if we do a lot of searches, React will automatically discard any intermediate transitions. And if you've ever had to build anything like this in React before, you know just how hard it can be. So it's really, really awesome that uh, we get all this for free by just using transitions with server components. So hopefully you enjoyed that lesson and you learned something about React Transitions. If you wanna watch a full course, head on over to buildui.com. And just so you know, we have a sale going on right now. Normally our lifetime memberships are $249, but if you buy before Wednesday, you can get a lifetime membership for only $149. That's gonna give you access to all of our courses. So this course on React Server Components, as well as our courses on Remix, Tailwind, and Framer Motion. So if you wanna save a bunch of money, head on over to uh, buildui.com and buy that membership before Wednesday. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.